What's poppin' y'all? So we are about to get into this requested video. Actually, one of my subscribers requested that I react to this video. This is the greatest era of football, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel? Lionel, because I was calling him Lionel, but it's Lionel Messi. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. the greatest footballer ever at the absolute peak of his powers. And then Ronaldo! Oh! Oh, look at this, Kevin. It's a brilliant run from Messi. Gonna go all the way! Now the turns into trouble. Brilliant footwork. Amazing oh. goal! Oh. Oh. Messi! We talked about Messi last week, didn't we? Or two weeks ago, I should say. And now it's all about Cristiano Ronaldo. Those two, those two just keep pushing each other on, pushing the boundaries of greatness. Exactly. And, and would they have been able? That's the question that yeah. I always ask myself. Would they have been able to do this and keep this up, the relentlessness that they've shown without each other? Would, if they was out on their own, no one else around, would they continue to, to have done this? That's the oh, question. No, I think they probably do add to the motivation. Yeah, 100%. I think all the great sportsmen in the world have always had that someone else to, yeah. to feed off. And I think this is another great rivalry in football. They don't talk about it. There's a, it seems like there's a yeah. bit of a respect between them. They don't ever mention each other, really. But they're just phenomenal to watch. And that, that people try and make comparisons of who's better, etc. Just enjoy them, yeah. man. We're like very different footballers time. as well in yeah. many ways. And what, what well, makes I can one see, better than I can see other. total yeah, difference in the yeah. uh, differences they're, they're setting standards. We're taking them for granted. Between the We're expecting two. goals in big games to change games. They do it week in, week out. Uh, they're out on their own. Um, as you say, completely different, but enjoy Damn, them. Damn, even Obama even they, knows they, they about them. A, diff a different persona from the outside. And we see them differently. That hunger is the same. It's just, it just looks differently from the outside. Yeah. They're both pushed on. They both want to beat each other, which has created this, this monster in both of them. Yeah. They, no. both, they both deliver at the right time. They both deliver in big games. We've seen them scoring mm. Champions League finals mm. in, in huge matches all over the world. They're different footballers. One's diminutive. One's a kind of Adonis. Mm. Uh, but they give so much to the game. Yeah, they do, and they just they create highlight reel after highlight reel <laughs> after highlight reel, and it's just phenomenal. It just yeah, each I see. game, even at the weekend, just gone. Messi comes off the bench, rescues the game for Barcelona. Yeah. They're doing it week in, week out, and it's you're like I got this. That, that, that get to the top. <laughs> There's many players that get there and stay there for a year or two. Yeah, these lot have been there for 10, 12 years doing it, and, and it's the footwork. You, you start looking at the stats, like we said before the game. He's got, he's almost, I think, he's a goal off 200, uh, 650 goals, yeah. Ronaldo. That is more than I had appearances. Yeah. How about you? Similar. Yeah, similar. It's like, that's, and that's just, a, it's ridiculous. So to see I it, think I like Cristiano's like footwork more than I like Messi's. Everybody else, you can't live with that. Like, his dribbling. That good in a team. Makes it very hard Look at his legs, like about players from different eras, and that's kind of unfair as well because things change in the game. Yeah. The, the the pitches are much better. Now I don't know. I gotta see. So I didn't league. really see much of Messi's Diet, dribbling. Everything is much better, isn't it now? Yeah. Um, so it's it's hard to compare players from from different generations, but the numbers, yeah. the numbers, the statistics are, are, are of these two yeah. are truly extraordinary. Yeah, that's what stands. And and the game is a lot quicker. Uh, I have to say yeah. now. So there are, these things probably level themselves out. Great players in different eras yeah. will, will be great players. Anyway, but the, the, as you say, the numbers make a difference. People can overlook stats. You can't. They smack you in the face. Yeah. The stats are incredible. To say that he scored more goals than appearances for Real Madrid, 650. Yeah. I mean, that's just not. That's abnormal. I mean, I'm, I don't. I don't want to butter you up too much, you two guys. But you, you two world-class players, and you sit there, and we watch players, and we, you know, you're thinking. You're in awe of them in, in many ways, and they're at a different level to world class. Yeah, you can't look at that. Yeah. Like they're up there somewhere, yeah. and all the other players in the world don't care what their egos are saying and what they think of themselves. They're looking up there, going, "I wish," and I can't get to that level. They ain't gonna get to that level. It's just, it's, it's like Frank said, it's abnormal. But what I would say about what it gives a team when you've got a player like that in your team, the confidence that spreads throughout the team that. We do our jobs right, we just get it right ourselves, keep the back door shut, no goals against. 
he will score us a goal. He'll get us a chance minimum. I remember when I played against Diego Maradona and met him on a couple of occasions. Obviously, the 86, the, the World Cup game where not the handball goal, but the other goal. Mm -hmm. It was the one time in my whole career where I felt like I ought to applaud. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you get those sort of moments of players having a respect for genius. Yeah, and that's sorry to interrupt, Frank, but them type of goals, like as a football fan, I remember the commentary on that yeah. goal. You know, that turns, a little squat man. No, that, you remember the things emotions. like that. It's like today, people remember <laughs> where they were when that goal went in. And likewise, the Zidane goal in the Champions League final. Mm -hmm. These goals create great memories, mm -hmm. and you remember that occasion and that time, what you was doing, what you was wearing, etc. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think, <laughs> I, well, I can't split them at the moment, but I think they are over all the eras. And you know, we see old videos, it's not easy yeah. to compare, but the ruthlessness, mm. not just the ability, but the hunger and the ruthless finishing. And, and the longevity. Longevity, game after game, year after year, scoring an important, important game, just things that we take for granted. It's not been done before to this yeah. level, has no. it? It's Ronaldo. This be the hat trick before half time. Oh, brilliant! The most talented footballer of his generation. Cristiano Ronaldo what? tips his time. Still got time. Oh, 2 0. Messi. Away from two, three, four. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How good is he? Cristiano Ronaldo! Who else on a big night? Great ball. Ronaldo, he's onside. He's beaten the defence. He draws Valdez! Cristiano Ronaldo! with a platinum touch. Lionel Messi! Oh, my goodness. Lionel Messi does it again. He's superhuman. Another chapter in the incredible story of this little man. <laughs> this little man. <laughs> he does look smaller, I mean, compared to the other players, but... um. Like I was saying earlier, so so far the reactions that I've done so far, I've noticed there are differences between, of course there are differences between the two. For Cristiano, I noticed that he is really good at like tricks and stuff and trick shots and his dribbling is crazy. Um, with Messi, he has really fucking good agility. He is fast and he looks tiny. Like from watching, comparing him to like how the other players look, he looks small. So he looks like he's good at maneuvering and just his agility is crazy. But I can see why these two will be considered the GOAT. And you can see they're like, they're, they're opposites, but they're both kind of the same. All right, y'all. So that was my reaction to that video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. 